Hey everyone and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. Today we will be checking out the new Season 2 of Arena, which is... Well, if you don't already know what Arena is, basically, as you can see in the top right, we do, um, there's one big base in the middle and four little teams of three. And currently, in those teams we have um, just Tier 3 Cruisers and Destroyers for the Arena... Uh, season 2 now in arena basically you can go down in several different stages so you've got the participating one so and then you've got the top 50 percent top 25 top 10 and then you also have your top one percent which is very hard to get to i got about 20 kills off but I'm just not gonna bother anymore because it's just increasing daily. It's not 60. So. Yeah, but it, this season is based all on kills, so it doesn't matter if you win. Just sitting, capping the base, and getting all the XP. I remember one person last um, season got over five million XP, which is stupid. They've been playing. They must have been playing that a lot. But um, this time it's based on kills, which is much better. So if you ask me, this season is much better. Now, you, so you have several different options to go with. Obviously, no battleships, which is very helpful for cruiser players. But in my opinion, you're probably best going off with the uh, Phoenix. Uh, she's got rapid firing guns. They're very good the AP punishes on the broadside as we will see in a bit but destroyers um they they're not exactly the kill they don't exactly get you the kills that you need at all um I have the G101 and it just doesn't get it just doesn't get you the kills I remember playing it once and no kills at all so what you really want you want this rapid fire ships like the phoenix but in my opinion the phoenix is probably best you don't have to go broadside to be able to fire all of your guns it's a really good ship if you ask me especially for arena so all you new guys out there if you have the phoenix go into arena and pick it up because as you just saw the ap hurts and then we can angle, as you can see, get four citadels on the Kuma. And then shoot the HE. And the HE does hurt as well when you hit more than one shell. As you can see, firing on the G101, getting some good penetration. It's already hurt the Kuma a lot to say, we're going to finish it. We've done all the work. And would you believe it, another citadel first blood and we destroyed some. Which is great. This ship does get Krakens. I am not lying. I logged on as soon as the arena season came. I went on and it's the first game and Kraken immediately. Unfortunately, I was not recording, which is a real shame to be honest. Would have been great if I was. But that's uh, my second ever Kraken. I've only had two. One in the Gneisenau, of course, my favourite ship. Alongside uh, Gudu Tazale now. I really like that too. And also now Phoenix as well. As you can see though, the Phoenix is very manoeuvrable. And its torps are quite good as we accidentally hit the G101 with one of our torpedoes. Which is always nice. Uh, this ship is very maneuverable. I've already said that. Speedy, yes. I think you can reach about 32 knots. And uh, you can citadel the French ships. Which is something that doesn't often happen. But you can citadel them. I have citadeled some bow tanking the great ones. So, you will do good in this ship. As I already said, the AP really hurts even when they are angled. If you aim for the superstructure, then you're good. 
Now, if you have the Phoenix, you have to get the hull upgrade. If if you don't have the hull upgrade, then it is not going to work out for you because you will only have three guns shooting on him at, on the enemy ship at once, which is not good. So what you will want, you will want to get the hull upgrade immediately. Don't hesitate, just get it. Because that's what brings the amount of guns up that you have. And that's really important. Okay? As you can see there, there's a citadel and he was bow tanking a bit. Which is always great, so we load the high explosive. Now we're still getting over So this is a very, very good ship. For arena especially. Very good for stealing kills. Very good for dodging torps. It's just generally a very, very good ship for Marina. Yeah, it doesn't have a smoke and it doesn't have any of the fancy other things like a heal. But um, it does have sonar, which is a benefit, a huge benefit. And you also have some very good commanders epic for your picks with the um, Phoenix, you can put Norman Scott on. Norman Scott would be my recommendation, that's who I'm using here. But um, who else could you use? You could use George Dewey, not so much George though. He's the uh, base commander for the Americans. He's not particularly good, don't use him. Pro probably, yeah, go with Norman Scott. He's probably your best bet on here. I think he's the um, more accuracy commander, I think. You're going to have to tell me in the comments if I got that wrong. But as you can see, the ship actually reaches 35 knots, which is very quick for its tier, very quick. Now, as you can see, we've got one ship remaining, and I start marking up the place where I think he is on the map. And sure enough, there he is. And we have, like, AP loaded. So, shoot really okay but we're gonna shoot again load the high explosive and still not sure how we didn't get a citadel but the uh carlite shit is a very hard shit to citadel as well so when you citadel it you know you're doing something right as we just pepper the carlite shirt with shots now as you can see very quick reload time seven and just under seven seconds so, it's really nice to have that reload time on this ship. Now, this is not the end of the video, guys. I have another clip to show you, actually, where this time, instead of discussing, I will be uh, talking about the way I play the game here and in the next game, as you can see. So yes, today, so not today, uh, now we will be on Archipelago, it's always going to be Domination though by the way, but we'll just show you probably the best way to play this ship on um, Arena, but there is one tactic that is very, very, very dangerous that happens in Arena, and that is called pinching, and pinching is when one team gets attacked from by two sides from two different teams and i've had it that we've had a triple pinching so i've been pinched by two teams. so actually double pinching we've been pinched by two teams already and then another team is pinched the team one of the teams is pinching us and it's very weird but uh yeah now, do you know, if you are playing, for example, the G101, very good ship, by the way. Um, if you're playing that ship, then you are probably going to be in games with other G101s. My recommendation would be to not take destroyers out, though. Because they're not good, really, at all. You're going up against cruisers. So, yeah. Uh, just do note, though... If you shoot at your allied ship uh, with torps or your guns, they will take, I think it is about a third of the damage that you would have dealt. So if you torp someone, you're talking about 4,000 damage. 
guns, so not great. But as you can see, we are currently moving south using the islands to our advantage. You have you absolutely have to utilize islands here. Never ever you never want to get caught in open water. And as soon as you get spotted and someone else isn't spotted and isn't shooting, start to maneuver. As you can see that's what I'm doing here. And and then obviously that baits out somebody else to start shooting and then you are much more likely to dodge shells. And then you really have to rely on teammates here because you they've got to um, set your smoke screens especially. But I think only destroyers have smoke screens at the tier. I'm not sure about the game. But we load armor piercing because Phoenix looked like he was going to come outside and then he didn't. So we're back to the highest place and unfortunately our teammate gets destroyed by the torpedoes but when you're in a smoke screen please please don't just sit still you actually have to do something other than sit still or else you will get torped now here is a prime example of being pinched kind of there's a silvencia there and i'm we're attacking another team directly ahead of us prime example of being pinched not great but as you can see this is um, a very good fight with the cleanser where we put on our sonar and just get out of the way of those torps and we're going to take another shot and completely miss them shoot torps on the phoenix load the ap here four three two one and we're going to aim as low as we can shoot and citadel it. Now all we need to anticipate the torpedoes from the phoenix of which will not come. And then we're going to dodge these torpedoes from the Clemson. Already got a high explosive loaded. And we're going to shoot him to death basically. So aiming a bit higher because it's the destroyer. And we just got citadel the heck out of. And then we um, burn him down. So as you can see, the Phoenix is uh, very vulnerable on the broadside. But fortunately for you, you don't always have to go broadside. Because you can get all the maximum number of guns on it. So the maximum number of guns you can get on target at once on the Phoenix is five guns. So when you have five guns, so that's the maximum you can have. Now when you're turning full broadside, you the maximum you can have is five. When you're bow tanking, the maximum number is five. You need to angle correctly though. You may want to skip back into another part of the video where I'm bow tanking. But there, we just took some shots in the um, area because you never know, you could spot someone. As you can see, V120 pops up. I'm gonna take some shots on him. But we will start to angle in a second. No, we won't. We're just going to shoot in there anyway. Load the AP for this car, i sure. And we're going to turn because we don't want to get Citadel. Because um, German Cruiser's armor piercing is notoriously good. And we're just going to turn. And look, all five guns were on target then. Look here, bow tanking. All five guns are on target. This is how you play the Phoenix. Just trying to dodge, getting several guns on target at once, and absolutely wrecking anyone that goes broadside to you with the AP. Your torpedoes, okay, they need to be utilized at different times um, than other torps because of their... Due to their, well, very short range. Because, they, yeah, they've got a re really, really short range. 5.5 kilometers. So you only really use them when you're falling. But um, Phoenix will be my top pick. And as you can see, we were playing very aggressive. And we got ourselves two kills. But unfortunately, the notoriously good German armor piercing sent us down to 
too bad. Really? Now, as you can see, this G101 here did not get the kill on that Carlisha, and is for some reason going to take that torpedo. But, um, just don't play the destroyers. And I think now I have uh, one more game clip for you afterwards. But as you can see, top 25% currently. I'm in the top 10% actually now. But you do get steel as well now. So, on to the next game. Now this one here started a bit late through. But this is a great example of this ship's armor piercing weight. Well, no Citadel, but it's one over pen. Now there will be a time when I go up against the Dane. And you'll see what happens. But when you are playing, okay, you do not want to just go for the kills. Because someone could take the base and whilst you're about to kill someone, the enemy takes the base and you get no kills. So you really need to keep an eye on the base and who's capturing it. Now we're just gonna wait. No Citadel's that time. In fact, this, is this the clip that I got into the Dane? I'm not sure. As you can see though, we're hurting the uh, enemy Phoenix. Sticking with the high explosive. But you do not want to go up close or close and personal all the time. I'm just going to warn you. Oh yes, this is the clip with the Dane. I remember now. Um, the Ubaris. Yeah, you can sit at all them. Danes also. You can sit at all them as well. You won't see that just yet. But you win when uh, he gets around the corner. Now, when you're coming around the corner on people, you will want to take it wider around the corner because... Practically everybody has torpedoes. I think everybody does have torpedoes. But you will really want to go sailing wide around and come in really close to the island, okay? Just do your very best at doing that. Else you will get citadeled and killed. Pretty much every ship at this... Every ship at this tier can get citadeled. Easy. As you can see though, we're slowing down on the island because we know that the Dane is going to be here somewhere. And we don't want to get torpedoed by him because he's got six torpedoes on one side. Not particularly helpful. As you can see though, we're just trying to have this kill. And there's the Dane. And so we destroy the uh, car I should. Just wait for it. It's gonna come in really short on this corner then get sidled we take the shot boom <laughs> he just got completely destroyed and here this is good maneuverability don't you think i think it is as you can see though there's one ship on the enemy team left we got one minute left of this game clip nine minutes overall on the um um timer but uh the enemy ship is a phoenix and we know how to deal with phoenixes especially if they're broadside now we know he's in the cap because it says a is contested and we're not spotted so he must be behind this island because that is also where the fire was coming from when it was going up against the uh, Carlisha. Now, fortunately, we don't have um, our sonar, so we are going to have to be very, very careful here. Just gonna turn in as best we can, hugging the island. This is another good way to get around corners. I probably use this more than the wider one. This is a very good way, though. And as you can see, we're spotted and would you believe it but he's exactly where we predicted now we know torps are coming so we are just gonna head out like this and then we're gonna turn in take the shot citadel him no torps are coming we're just gonna shoot our torpedoes at him 
and we take him down without us actually being killed. So, well done for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just um, a how to do ranked well and stuff like that. So, good job. And I will see you in the next video.